Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see the question in which we want to sort the values of this hash map. Okay, so how we can sort? So there are two ways. I mean, the interviewer can ask you either to solve it by using the Java gate by using the normal Java. Okay, so we will see both the way. First, we will try to do it by using the Java gate. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, we have a map. Okay. So here, this map actually gives us the entry set. So we have to do this entry set, and then we have to use the stream on this entry set. Okay. Then what we have to do is we have to sort it by value. So there is a function called sorted that we have to use, and we have to sort it by using the values, right? So map dot entry dot comparing by values. Okay, so this is how we will be able to sort, sort it by using the value. But now after sorting, we want to capture it back to a map, right? So what we can do is there is something called dot collection dot, dot collect. So here we will be using the linked hash map. And new, we are going to create a new hash, linked hash map. And then here we will be using the map one entry and map one dot put and inside this we will put the entry dot get key and entry dot get value okay and we will do it linked hash map put all okay so that's it. This will sort your uh, map. I mean, this will sort your map by using the value. So let us print it and let's see how it, what all exactly output it gives. Okay, I'm going to just format the code so that can be easy to read. Yeah, if you see, it has sorted based upon the value. Like three is coming first, then five, then seven, then fifteen, then twelve, fifty-two. Okay. So now the question may arise, the interviewer can say, okay, with the Java 8 you are able to do, but I want you to sort it by using the before Java 8, without using stream at all, okay? Before Java 8 or without using stream. So how we can do is, so we have a map, right? So we know this map gives us the entry set, okay? We will create a set and set of entry. And inside this entry, we know that the each entry in a map is of uh, its string and integer, right? So just use it here, and we will name this as a set. And here we know map dot entry set. It gives us the entry set, right? Yeah. So this whatever entry set it is going to give, we are going to store this in this variable. Okay, set. So now we will put this set in a list, in an array list, okay? So we will create a list of entry. It will be a list of entry. And we will name this list as a list and new array list. And we will add this set, whatever we have, right? Set of its entry in this. So now what we have done is, uh, from the after taking each value from this map, we have put in the set and then from the list. Okay. So now we want to sort it. So what we will do is, we will use this collections dot sort. Okay. So this sort basically accept two parameters. One is the list, and we are going to do it by using the comparator interface. Okay. So there is the list. We will be giving this new comparator. Okay. So this comparator interface will accept like we want to sort it based on something right. So here we will put in the R this thing. Okay. So right now it is showing this uh, red line that error. So we know that it contains one method which we have to override it. So we are going to override it. So we can either use this add, add unimplemented or we can override it by itself. So I'll just do it by using this. So here, if you see this comparator interface has a method called compare. Okay, so now we have to sort it by using this. Okay, so here it will be over like the argument one dot 
get value minus o2 dot get value okay so now it has sorted it so now we will just try to print it oh sorry okay now let's try to run the program yeah if you see it has sorted it but it is in a list order okay so this is how we can sort any hash map by value okay so now the interviewer can ask okay you have sorted it in an ascending order i want you to sort it in a descending order okay so if we have to do it by using the only java so what we can do is we will just do here o2 minus o1 okay so now let me try to run this yeah if you see it has sorted in the descending order okay now how we can do with the java 8 so in this here you see right sorted we use map dot entry dot comparing value so here inside this there is something called we have to use comparator dot sorry dot reverse order okay so now let's try to print it yeah if you see both are sorted in the descending order okay so guys yeah this much in this video if you like the video please do subscribe to the channel uh, for you it's just a subscribe button but for me that is very much useful for my youtube channel growth